Oh, my dear viewers, welcome to today's coffee, coffee cup reading. This coffee cup reading is for all Gemini and it's for August 2023. Welcome, everyone. I hope you all enjoy this reading and let me begin. First, I would like to say welcome those of you who are new. Please be mindful that prior to doing the coffee cup, I always meditate up to an hour of meditation and I get in connection to the guiding angels of everyone that is going to watch this uh, video and especially all Geminis. And those of you that have Gemini within you. And I'm giving information which I write down on a piece of paper. And I deliver this to you at the end of the reading. So um, at the end of the cup. So in the meantime let me show you what your cup looks like. Stay tuned for that. The cup looks amazing. Wow. Mm, there's so much going on. So many emotions. Wow. Incredible. Mm, there's a fox here. Okay. Right, let me begin from the beginning. Welcome, my dear viewers. Let me just put my glasses on and I'll start. First and foremost, what I'm seeing here is um, there's so much change coming, so much adventures waiting for you, so many possibilities. Be open to what's coming because what's coming is going to be spectacular. A lot of changes, a lot of adventure, a lot of fun. Going places, exploring places, exploring people, doing a lot. If you've been feeling sort of like scattered or unhappy or sort of like unable to focus, your feelings may be scattered. You might be feeling like, you know, asking what's important, what am I supposed to do or any questions like that. Because of so much that's going around you, you need to prioritize your intentions or what you need or what you want. What is important to you? What are the most important factors that you need? You need to ground yourself so that you can accomplish your goals by knowing what you want and setting your um, intentions. There is, however, also one thing I'm seeing, which you are going to heal from. There's a beautiful snake here. I feel like there is one challenge. Mm, very interesting. This challenge is very intriguing because it looks to me like it looks like you are tired. You are tired of constant conflict. There's a conflict that keeps going on and on. And so many setbacks in your life. And 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 there's no easy answers. And that's what this challenge is all about. It's like you're you're sort of waiting and saying, you know, how much longer will this go on? How much longer? But you know what? There is one more battle and that's the last challenge. And then this chapter, one particular chapter that's been overwhelming is going to come to an end. But in the process, you are feeling sort of like disoriented, not knowing what to do, what, you know, how to proceed, what to do, what's going to happen, but you will heal. Excuse me, I'll just drink some water, my dear viewers. You will heal from this. All of a sudden, my throat dried up because of the throat chakra okay now now what i was saying my dear gemini this is something to do with the past it's linked what's happening now in your life it's linked to the past something to do with your inner child a wound you're wounded maybe there's something about parents or one parent not being constant or there um things were not the way you wanted them to be or the way you needed them to be so you may be reacting from that wound of the past uh, and today as you can see this is incredible the way it just shows how you are closed up or blocked to some degree because of the past because wounds from the past but it's very important and essential that you are honest and truthful and you speak the truth and you speak it with love as long as you get the truth out there so that you can release, so that you can heal, so that you can move forward and and, and leave this chapter that has been so um, painful. You are on the defensive side all the time and especially now because um, you want to win. You want to and eventually you will win, but you're fighting for what you believe in. You know, you're, you're even if you're becoming a bit ag aggressive, bear with me one second. Okay. Um, even though you're becoming a bit aggressive and um, there may be these challenges could be, you know, something that someone that could be sort of challenging authority or, you know, expect criticism, 
expect it to be a bit difficult, but you won't regret your actions and you are going to have a win. You know, people competing, you know, or, or sort of uh, making you sometimes become angry, you know, and and sometimes it's because that is the reason you get angry. It's to do with, with something that hasn't been released over the time and you want your freedom. In a way, you want something and you want your freedom. You don't want so much, so much control. You know, I feel like a lot of long, sort of long-held beliefs and traditions and and ideas are being challenged and that it's causing a little bit of chaos. Um, I also feel like your heart is broken because of something. You could be grieving the loss of a relationship or the loss of something and and that's why you're sort of unhappy but i do feel that the changes that are coming are best for you so if something falls apart and collapses it's okay because you are destined for freedom and a lot of light is coming into your life big time and and taking you to the next level now that is however um i do see i saw it before and i saw it again there's a fox here and a fox is all about not only changes, but foxes about, you know, someone selfish or self-interest. But the fox is also about trap and it's about deceit and it's about, you know, being caught red-handed. It's about um, something not being right at the same time because this, the fox, the thing I hate about the fox, to be quite honest, and, and the word hate is very severe, but most animals kill you know to eat and otherwise they don't slaughter but the fox kills for the sake of the fun of it like they would go into a barn of chickens and kill 40 chickens and they won't eat them but they just kill them and this is what i don't like about the fox so i never like the fox to me it's like taboo so there is someone that might be cunning or um, something is off something is wrong there's something wrong with this fox it just shows that some changes are needed uh, and it could be this matter could be very challenging. You could be at the crossroads cross, uh, where you really need to make a choice. Some of you are considering traveling, but you're not sure you're torn between two areas or two uh, two directions. This year you are traveling again. If you have already traveled, you're traveling again before it ends. And it ends in February 2024. You're free to decide. Opportunities are, are there. There could be a road trip. That's what I'm seeing here. It could be a road trip. And it could be very exciting. But there could you could be in a position where you have to make a, a choice between two roads. Just need to check that out so that you do make the right choice and you don't get lost or go the wrong way or go to a place where it's not part of the the um the path where you the route that you're going. This could be in you know, a metaphoric or it could be literal sense so just pay attention to that you you are going to enter a period of great happiness and positive events right after something f is removed out of your life something that was weighing you down or taking a lot out of your energy so i see um unexpected large amounts of money coming in i see a beautiful whale here bringing you abundance i also see a change of um change of your place where you're living your residence your home some of you could be also changing jobs there's two changes major changes taking place two of them but um within those two one of them could be a big travel a travel that is going to make a big difference you are going to love what you are going to explore and and you are going to discover something and in the midst of that you are going to discover something amazing about yourself that you never knew that you love this something in your travels perhaps there's a lot of peace inner peace and i see a lot of happiness a lot of fulfillment something you had lost will come back to you actually you know generosity seems to be part of this also being generous a lot of your generosity maybe if you have been generous a lot of your generosity is coming back and um, you are getting a lot of happiness and a lot of abundance. Be confident. Tell others your ideas because you do have some great ideas. And they will help bring about that 
necessary change in your life so talk about them don't hold back talk about them with love like with very you know affection if, if they are a bit hard to handle maybe they're big ideas that might change things but they are worth it they will make a big difference in your life justice is going to prevail i see a beautiful scale here with a beautiful um my god just like the justice card because i'm seeing the scale and i'm seeing a sword and next to the sword there is a v a great victory awaits you if you are if you do have a lawsuit or any kind of a court or some sort of judgment against you and if somebody's been um blaming you uh, for anything uh, i feel like it's gonna be in your favor um if anyone's done the wrong thing by you stability is also coming in your life fairness stability Taking responsibility for what your for your actions, um, you are going to be feeling as though you are. There's a lot of growth. Every action you take will have an effect. Be decisive when you make your decisions. You know, so you can move forward. Contracts, agreements, legal disputes, all will be res resolved, and um, it's all going to be in your favor. Justice is assured here, without a doubt. From now to about um all the way to the end of the year i do see someone new wonderful someone that will ignite something within you maybe they're not new in your life but someone very charming and generous and they're igniting something beautiful within you they're very courageous and they have strong beliefs this person encourages and inspires you they inspire others and you will be inspired by them too they're outgoing and have a beautiful personality you love being around them but you do seem to be wanting to advise them a lot like you want to uh, be their hero in a way you learned a lot from the past you have a journey um, and you've learned a spiritual journey that's taught you so much and now you value your freedom you know we don't want to sort of give your freedom easily so i do see here a dragon which shows a lot of um what's the word and i do see an elephant which shows not only freedom, freedom, the dragon, the elephant, both freedom, but also um, wisdom. And I'm also seeing a beautiful dove here. Um, those of you born in the Chinese era of the ox, buffalo, Chinese era of the rat, Chinese era of the tiger. Very strong here. Um, peace. Finally, you are having peace. Chinese era of the horse. Uh, where there, has been, there hasn't been peace, there will be peace in one area of your life at least. You're walking happy finally like walking happy i'm seeing you like this is august august is going to bring you a lot of happiness i see one of your wishes is going to be completed or maybe two wishes i see a wishing well here and i see like it's bringing you a new beginning a new perspective and overcoming a challenge once and for all and that's when you're feeling happy and free because of one of your wishes is becoming um it's like maybe it's to do with love like it's to, it looks to me like something you wanted for the longest time it was in your heart and you were longing for it and i feel like love now f it's just flowing through you and to you and it's everywhere and that's what's going to make you really feel um extraordinary number nine keeps coming up in your reading nine nine i know nine is connected to challenges nine is connected to a lot of fun and a lot of happiness a lot of entertainment a lot of travel a lot of movies going to the movies and seeing movies also it is connected to the chinese zero the monkey it's connected to somebody born in september they could be a virgo or a libra but you know it looks like this person there's also um, where i'm seeing the nine now i was seeing nine before everywhere um, but now I'm seeing the lion sitting next to a moose and this moose moose okay it's that animal that's got those beautiful reindeer kind of ears um, this the reason I say the moose is because the face looks like a camel so the, the moose the moose does look like has got the face of a camel in my opinion anyhow but what I'm seeing here is that either you're feeling alone or somebody's feeling alone time alone you know, it's like as though somebody might be imposing um, themselves on you too much and you want time out, you want time alone. Like I said before, you do treasure your, your you learn the lesson and you treasure your, you've learned from the past and you treasure your freedom. Now you're not going to give it easily. So there might be somebody that's sort of uh, chasing you a little bit 
too much maybe maybe you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed and they're not leaving you alone it's like you want your free time and you don't want anyone to disturb you there is a key there is a solution for this um somebody wants to shower you with their love somebody's fallen for you big time um and and the only problem there the only issue between you and this person is freedom that's all that's all i see and i see chinese ear of the horse here very strong and i also see that um you you do realize you will realize that the connection is something very special and worth treasuring uh, the only thing that, like I said, the only issue seems to be freedom. Number um, 11 is there also. Chinese ear of the dog, very strong here. Uh, this person could be also, the Chinese ear of the dog has a lot of meanings. First and foremost, you could be dealing with someone, um, very much so, who is someone born of the Chinese ear of the dog. It also means friendship and loyalty. And this person might be relying on you so much because you're so close and you're so connected to the point where they're missing you and they want to do everything by somewhat letting you know or reporting to you what they're doing and and like and and maybe perhaps maybe just sometimes you want that time out without being sort of uh, disturbed wow my nails are really bad anyhow that's not important sorry i just realized that um and um but you know what the point is um the only thing that really matters is love and um what is real is love and and this person's love could be real and but their connection and their 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 um yeah it's the freedom that that is causing this because you've had somebody maybe possessive in the past maybe that's why freedom seems to be a problem in in a relationship maybe because this person's never felt love like this before maybe you've never felt love like this before it's so connected well it reminds me of a song never been loved never seen love like this before something like that but anyhow um the depth of all this that i'm talking about is that there is inspiration but this inspiration is a bit overwhelming that's all because of the freedom but you will transcend from this time is going to heal this and you will slowly perhaps you know put your foot down and say listen i want my freedom and you know this is my time out and i just you know there is again that chinese ear of the dog here big time but i'm seeing fire energy very strong sagittarius the highest level of wow what is this yes the archer one two three my goodness four archers wow chinese ear i'm not, not chinese i keep saying chinese ear because i keep seeing the dog's face anyhow sorry um sagittarius that's what i'm trying to say the archers sagittarius for Sagittarius here that means very strong emphasis on Sagittarius whether it's you you've got Sagittarius within you or could be the person that we're talking about they might have Sagittarius in you but there is fire energy very strong Sagittarius being the strongest and then there is three lions so three Leos but there was four Sagittarius my goodness there is also three rams so fire energy very very strong like taken over in a big way fire energy could be you yourself might have fire the person might have a you might have Sagittarius they might have Aries in them or Leo it could be either one because there are three lions three rams but four Sagittarius so that's just emphasizing Sagittarius more but the fact remains fire energy very very strong very strong now another important factor fire energy they're very that's why it's the fire is what it could be you you might have fire within you even though you might be um like Gemini, but you might have a lot of fire in you. And that fire is the inspiration. What happens is you are always wanted. Your presence is always wanted. And this person could have fire too, so you might unite well, or this person could be water energy. And you might be feeling uh, they might need you because your presence gives them warmth without you actually um, doing anything, just your presence. And, and it's all that, that that I'm seeing here, very strong fire energy. There's also Earth, and I see strong Capricorn here. Yes, Capricorn. And I see Taurus and Virgo. One Taurus, one Virgo, but three Capricorns. So Capricorn. They might have a little bit of Capricorn in them, and you might have a little bit of Capricorn in you. But we're talking about people that, that you are going to be dealing with on a high level in in um uh, in, in August. Um, I'm also seeing Pisces here very, very strong. Two, three sets of fish. So <laughs> Pisces, big time. Scorpio Cancer there also, just one of each. And then there is Aquarius. Air energy, very strong. Aquarius, Gemini, yeah, like yourself, and Libra. They might have either one, that means. It could have Lib they could have Libra, they could have Gemini, but there's air in them. But the strongest one that took over this sector of the person you are dealing with the most is fire, 
energy Sagittarius being number one Leo second and then Aries and then a lot of Pisces uh more Pisces than everybody else and and Capricorn so Earth energy there too Virgo and Taurus but Capricorn more so um, we're talking fire earth and water beautiful energy is going to be spectacular there's a lot of warmth um, that surrounds you and this person a lot of warmth even though you want your peace but there's a part of you that always misses this person so the missing is always there the wanting but space is important to give each other space maybe uh, that will help the missing maybe there is already space uh, for, for one of you it's enough for the other one it isn't it's that kind of a thing because we've got the key factor being freedom here so now talking about the dog <laughs> that I was talking about I see one big giant face of a dog and then there is three other small ones so big uh chinese zero of the dog to the highest level you could be overwhelmed or consumed with or dealing with someone could be family member that you're doing everything with or one family member that is you are the closest to or could be a lover it could be a person new that's coming into your life or someone who's a great friend uh, that you are doing so much with or it could be literally um pets or children having children uh, the dog represents pets any kind of pet it represents literally a dog that you might be taking uh, they might be taking a lot of and oh my god there's another face of a dog here i just saw it through the camera so i was looking at this dog the long face dog and then there's another one here oh my god and there's two others so chinese zero of the dog to the highest level uh, whether it's yourself or dealing with someone that's Chinese zero dog, you're doing a lot together. You want your time with this person. You're, you want to be stuck around this person or this person is stuck to you. There's a lot of connection and a lot of time spent with the Chinese zero of the dog. It could be family. Now, um, the other factor here is the horse, Chinese zero of the horse. Very strong. Again, we have one, two, three, four, three and a half. Again, three horses and a small one. So Chinese zero of the horse very strong those of you who are born in the chinese zero horse or this person could be born a person that you're dealing with consumed with or doing a lot with or traveling with could be or could be best friend could be a lover could be someone new coming into your life chinese zero the horse and then we've got the tiger next to the horse and then i've got the buffalo here very strong chinese zero of the ox or buffalo so tiger if it's yourself or the person that you might be working with or dealing with in august or working around with and doing so much with chinese zero of the tiger could be yourself or them the ox and finally the goat chinese zero of the goat is the other one again there's two three goats here small goat so a lot of goat a lot of um uh, oxes which is the buffalo they call it buffalo or ox and then of course um the dog the horse the um what did i say the, the goat and of course um the tiger wow what a combination they're not combination they could be different people but it's amazing how many of them were which i love that i i really really love that that the universe makes it so easy for me to see everything and understand the more they show us the more intense that sign is just like we have 11 11 5 5 6 6 3 3 they're all numbers that that the, the, they mean something and when they when the repetition when the universe or our guiding angels repeat things is for us to know the intensity or the importance of that anyhow um i see a lot of miracles taking place right after you finish that challenge and that overcoming something from the past a great miracle takes place and i feel a lot of a lot of blessings are coming your way a lot of blessings but our miracles are going to be endless and part of the miracles there's a lot of healing going on a lot of peace and healing but you are certainly finishing and completing some chapters of your life or some goals you are achieving them um, you've already completed one, but there's one or two more projects that you are going to be completing, which is wonderful. You're going to have a lot of ideas. You're going to be filled with ideas. Financial rewards are coming in also for completed work or something you've done, you know, like could be a spiritual work, you know, doing a lesson, going through something, a chapter of your life, doing your best, and you're getting a lot of rewards big time. Money doesn't always give you happiness, that I can see. For you, it's all about celebrating life and having fun and being happy around people that you love, family, loved ones, lovers. You know, I mean, you like to reward yourself with successes here and there for what you have achieved and what you are achieving. But the most important factor for you is really feeling alive and excited about things. You like to be excited about the future. You like to be... Um, 
able to do what you want to do. You love going out and traveling and exploring different places. And you're having all that. There's a lot of freedom and a lot of choices beginning. But you are completing a cycle. And a lot of your achievements and dreams and goals are being established. And that is incredible. Right, Starting August, it will ignite in August and continue all the way till the end of 2020. Wow. 2024, 2025. 2025, the year of the snake. Amazing. I got the year of the snake at the end there. Now, my dear viewers, let us see what are important factors for you all to know here. Mm, okay. Oh, wow. What a beginning. In three months' time, there will be an agreement or a deal made. In three months' time, so in August, September, October, November, 11 was here. The dog was all over the place. 11 is the number of the Chinese year of the dog. November which is um, the um, Scorpio or Sagittarius. Sagittarius was very strong. There was only one small Scorpio, but Sagittarius was big time here. So for those Gemini's who have Sagittarius, anyway, um, pay attention to this reading. It's very, very deep. Or those of you who are dealing with Sagittarius. Anyhow, in three months, there's going to be a deal or an agreement made. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so I was given fire twice and aries and we had the aries here three times remember i said there are three rams there were th four sagittarians uh, three lions and three rams which is ram is the aries my god so i was given fire energy twice times two right and then aries also with it so aries is a fire energy it could be about aries so it is about fire energy and aries they're very strong Something about shopping. You could be going shopping with an Aries, possibly, or going shopping for an Aries. You could be working for somebody. could be a um, family member. It could be a relative or something. There's shopping, something about shopping. And there's also um, Aquarius here. Aquarius could be going shopping with an Aquarius or for an Aquarius. That's a possible. Aquarius sign was also given here. Forgiveness is needed. Forgiveness. You need to forgive either yourself or someone. There's a question that you're questioning. Mm, question and then it's got tiger chinese year of the tiger wow chinese year of the tiger questioning something and the decision needs to be made revelation there's something that's going to be revealed something about poker machine poker machine those of you who are working with poker machines those are you those of you who are playing with poker machines there is a decision there could be a revelation you might discover something about poker machines Maybe, you know, discover a new way of playing them or something. Something about poker machines. Moving forward. Moving forward. There's something about gym. Some of you are joining a gym. Um, not leaving. You're not leaving or somebody's not leaving. There is no leaving. Okay. If you're wondering, will I be leaving somewhere? There's no leaving. Um, also, it says no. So that no is maybe connected. So I was, give, I was given a no that I was here. No leaving. So... Uh, if you're wondering about anything, Jim and No came together, I mean, after each other. So there's something about a dolphin. And dolphin is all, all about luck and truth. So truth and luck coming your way. Dolphin is always uh, a good omen. It's all about luck and truth. Great changes and luck coming your way. Again, luck twice. Great changes and luck. Now, let me give you the num. Oh, the letters. Let me put my glasses on. Your glasses for these. Okay, all the numbers that we've got here. We've got C given to me twice or three times. No, no, twice. So we've got the le the letter C for um, candy, candice, chocolate. I've got the letter A three times was given a those of you with names that begin or initials that are a or someone's initials could be a a uh, for alligator apple and so forth i for i am indigo i then i've got q for quinn quill quilt and um yeah and um quail and then we'll have n for no n for never n for near or um, next, and then S for sweet, S for Sam, S for scorpion, Sagittarius, and then T for tiger, T for um, tomatoes, and T for Thailand, Y for yes, Y for yellow, 
and that's that one and then the numbers i was given number nine again number nine which was all over your cup my god the main one i was given was number nine and it was all over this nine is that challenge that you will overcome one challenge is going to help you a lot and it, it could be to do with with your freedom and finally after this challenge you are going to have your freedom so you're taking a stand and defending what you believe in and putting your foot down and then finally winning this challenge and then having your freedom but also the nine brings you abundance. The nine brings you happiness. The nine brings you relief. The nine brings you happiness and entertainment and excitement. Nine is connected to people born in the Chinese year of the monkey. You could be dealing with a monkey. You could be born in the Chinese year of the monkey yourself. And nine is also to do with people born in September, which is either Virgo or Libra. We had one Virgo and one Libra in the reading. So you could be dealing with someone like that. Then we have uh, the nine is about from the time you see this all the way up to September, you might overcome that one challenge and start having a lot of fun, entertainment and abundance coming in your life. Then we've got number five. Number five is connected to either someone born on the ninth also and somebody could be born on the fifth of the month. That could be also the clue about the, the numbers. Could be a house you're buying or moving into a residence. You were moving house. I saw somebody moving. Five is also connected to changes, a lot of changes taking place. It doesn't matter what changes, but changes. Connected to the Chinese year of the dragon. I did see a dragon here. And um, the dragon is about education, leveling up. Uh, it's about power. It's about wisdom. Um, and the dragon, also people born in May. You had a Taurus there. There was a bull. And also Gemini yourself you are born in taurus and gemini um so could be somebody that might have gemini like yourself or they might have taurus within them there was earth energy taurus virgo and two three capricorns okay five people born in may like i said people born the chinese area dragon changes and this could be from the time you see this uh, coffee cup up to five months of a lot of changes and i saw that from the beginning of your cup major changes coming and you being, you know, be ready for the changes that are coming because they are going to overwhelm you and they are going to take uh, a lot into bringing you a lot of goals and achieve a lot of peace and achieve a lot of freedom and happiness. And there is a trip and there's a trip here again, a trip that is going to make a big impact in your life. A road trip, I think. I think it's a road trip. Wow. Let me see just deeper. There's anything else I can see where this has gone too long. Yes. Yes, like I said, there is an impact of something, something about this trip, something amazing. It might ignite you to take action or it might be so, it, it, it will impact you somehow. The trip that I'm talking about, it could be a road trip. So let me know about the trip. Those of you who might go through it even afterwards and let me know what you think of this um, reading. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And my dear viewers, um, I wish you abundance of pl uh, abundance of blessings, joy, happiness. And don't forget, if you're, if you're new to the channel and you enjoy what, what you saw here, always remember to subscribe to it and click on the bell. First to support the channel and support me. And the, the bell is to support you know which videos are coming up for you to see don't forget to watch your general reading at the end of it it tells you the star sign combination which will connect you to have confirmation from where the star signs were here and what's in um in your reading so that you know what's going on i think i haven't done the august one yet no the july one was done you can still um watch the july one and the august one is coming up soon and i wish you a lot of happiness and a lot of blessings and namaste